All right, what I've done so far is I've created a basic HTML5 document and I added a video element uh, to the page. Now, I added two different kind of video formats and that's the MP4 and WebM. And then I actually added two different uh, attributes to the video tag. First is controls, so I had the native controls of the browser there so the user could uh, play, pause, and all that stuff uh, the video and then I added a poster and the poster is what you see first when the video doesn't play um, just so you know the poster that I picked the dimensions of the poster are the same size as the dimensions of the video and I'm talking about the native video before I actually set any width and height in through the HTML um, I think it's like 1280 by 720 something like that but I know they're both the same so next order of business is let me do a quick validation make sure that the document is uh, clean uh, then I'm gonna upload the document to the web server and I'm gonna kinda look through what the doc what it looks like on different web browsers so uh, I well the W3C validator through uh, Dreamweaver, it works uh, by actually sending the file over to the online validator and bringing it back. And I'm just having some internet funkiness. Yeah, of course it doesn't work. Yeah, I mean, I only have broadband 5 gigabyte internet. Why would things work for me? Eh, I'm a little frustrated with my ISP, but okay. Oh, look at that. It sent it. All right. Cool. So uh, that's that. And now let me upload my stuff to my server. Um, do just that. And let that do its thing. And actually, while we're here, I will show you what it looks like because I did do this prior to shooting the video. Um, well, here it is. Now, unlike before when I was looking at it locally, I know I'm looking at it remotely. And so far, so good. Safari, it works. Let me get that URL over here, paste it, and it, okay, it works in Safari. Sorry, I said Safari, but I meant Firefox. Let's see what it looks like in Chrome. So far, so good. And finally, Internet Explorer. Now, I got to tell you, there is the possibility that you may not be seeing the video. Um, and I'll get to that in a sec. Interesting, look at this. Out of, of course, it has to be a little bit different in Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer has a weird issue. See, I set a poster attribute for it. And Internet Explorer, um, we're talking about 9 here, it, it actually only will display the poster for until the metadata of the the um, of the video loads and then once that metadata like the first frame loads the images it's going to leave is the first frame um, and there's only one way to actually fix this to make it look like the rest and uh, what you need to do is use the preload attribute and you lose preload none and what happens there is that um, when the when the visitor comes and requests the video, it's not going to preload it a little bit. Like you see, for example, here's the preload in it. It loaded this much, so when it starts playing, it kind of has a little bit of a jump, so it doesn't skip when it's playing. Well, uh, we need to set it to not do that in order for IE9 to honor the poster. So, uh, well, think about it. I'm going to use it just to fix this problem, but you know, you may be thinking to yourself, you know, the advantages of of preloading the video um, is going to outweigh what my poster is. If if that's what you feel, then then don't add the preload, you know. But if you want to honor the 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 poster, you're going to need to fix that. See, let's see. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, so far so good and part of this you see how we have this uh, when we load it up it loads small and then it goes like that that is because we haven't set a width and a height attribute for our um, for 
our video ahead of time. That's part of the metadata that it loads. So it seems that now we know, hey, you know what? Um, I don't like that that kind of uh, that flickering. So let me define a width, um, which I'm going to define the width is 720, and my height is equal to 1280. And that's the native, let me just double check that. That's what my video is natively. Yeah, 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 there we go. 1280 by 720. So um, actually, let me just do it in that order too, because I'm like that. Um, and then I'll put it, and let's get that behavior to not happen anymore. Well, oh, dummy. My mistake. I, I thought of it in reverse. Now, let's see. There we go. See, so now when we actually reload the browser, it doesn't do, you see, even when it took took it a second to do it, it actually loads up the frame as it should be in those dimensions, and um, it doesn't jump around. 